Yeah, so the, the last the last comment on that is on, on that one is uh, you know is it still reproducible on the on the newest viewer? There's no more comments. Yeah, there are, there are some issues that may still require server changes. I don't know. Uh, but that's that's not something we're focusing on at the moment. We've got other projects in front. I mean, there, there are there are definitely cases where um, uh, where under under bad network conditions, uh, you you end up losing things, um, or your the simulator and the viewer get out of sync about what what you've got attached and where. Um, and and that's a that's a significant problem and and probably a hard one to fix because some of the some of the messages that are required for that are UDP and they can get lost under under bad conditions. We don't have a we don't at this point have a a reliable mechanism for recovering. Um, but uh, you know it's very difficult to tell from these sort of reports of random events, whether that's a contributing factor or not. Right, because what, what happens when you when you move from one region to another is that is that all the objects get new IDs from the new simulator and your viewer uh, needs to get synchronized uh, with respect to what objects are associated with which IDs and which things are attached to which places. Um, and, you know, obviously there's, there's a flurry of messages that go back and forth about that. And uh, your viewer attempts to preserve continuity by keeping things where it thinks they were in the last region, and then it has to get the new IDs and the, and the new positions from the from the simulator in the new region, and if anything goes wrong in that in that process, then something can uh, the viewer can end up not believing that something is there that is there or the other way around. Right? Um, and we've tried to address as many of those races as possible, but uh, there may be somewhere there's still a fix that needs to happen on the server side. So, but it's a little difficult to pin down without, you know, a, a reliable, reproducible test case. Much, much more useful if, if you find a way to do it. If you, if you create a, a Jira that says, here's a specific object, which when crossing from region A to region B, um, you know, does this, does this bad behavior. Um, yeah, I mean, the more stuff you have, the more opportunities for that to happen are. And if, if you've got a lot of scripting going on, that makes the region crossing take longer, right? Um, um, I I don't know which which message system all of those go over, and they may not all be the same.
Right. People who can repro it all the time, I am tempted to suspect that what they've got is uh, unreliable networks. I mean, I don't, I don't want to assert that that's true, but that, that would be my first thing. And, you know, we could we could try simulating that. We, we certainly can't simulate that, but um, there is a limit to how, how much we can recover from that. That's that's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's 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 a pretty old thing. That's been a long time ago. Yeah, you would expect you would expect larger number of attachments and larger attachment sizes to make the situation worse. Well, 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 we'll keep our eyes open for ways to attack it, but it hasn't been something we've been working on in the last few weeks. Um, oh, page is typing. Uh, okay, so another topic is uh, Jira that uh, Dakota has brought up, which really might have some more background into, which is a problem. Um, it's that one. That's something we'd like to see improved. Print properties visually referred refer to an earlier state. Hmm. That's a big problem for RAM builders. Right, so this is, right.
Uh, yeah. So this is a, a, an interesting set of problems. Um, part of part of the whole uh, trick is is that we improved performance of a bunch of things by not sending you updates about things that you can't see. Apparently, sometimes we're missing things that you. It would have been. So that's a side of, oh, That's what I thought. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Um, you know, again, there are very specific ways to reproduce the problem that are not run around randomly in a maze and see whether or not all the doors are in the right state. That that's sort of not a that's not a very easily tested case. Yeah, I see Wiley's comment. Um, yeah, I do, I do. But um. <laughs> Thank you, Grumpity. <laughs> Great. We'd like to promote something next week, so be gentle. Um, Thank you for the help on CEF and Azumarill. We, uh, we, we are collecting, we are collecting fixes against uh, both of us at a steady pace. So we're, we appreciate the help with testing. Um, I will, I will say this again so that, so that uh, it, will, it will be reported as widely as possible. Um, Test with CEF. If you do interesting things with web media in world, um, you should be testing with the Valhalla viewer. You should be getting the updates to it and retesting when the updates come out. That is the future of media in the world. And if you're not testing with it, and when it becomes the, the, the canonical viewer some number of weeks or months from now, uh, and you suddenly discover that what you're doing with media doesn't work, um, we're, 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 we're going to be less sympathetic than we would be if you had been testing now and telling us about the problems now. I downloaded uh, it yesterday, uh, so I am spent a little bit of time on that one last night. Great. Uh, so about quick time, and flash. The, the position on both is, is very similar. And that is because both involve you having things installed correctly on your system that did not come from us with the viewer um, and that we can't necessarily provide with the, the viewer, uh, we, we don't promise that they'll work. They may work for some people, at least some of the time. There may be some things you can do to make them work. But if you're a content provider, you should not count on them working for everybody because they probably won't. Um, what you should be doing is converting your content to use HTML5. That should work for everybody once this becomes the, uh, the, 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 the default way to do web media. So that's the, that's the message to content providers and media providers. Move to HTML5. Um, get away from Flash, get away from QuickTime, you'll have a much more robust experience. 
that's that's where we're trying to go. Well, everything is moving away from Flash anyway. Uh, I, I, I'm not. That is my impression, but that's that's not the you know that's not the. But we're we're doing this because this is what we can deliver in a way that we think we can control better. Um, the Flash and QuickBond is much much more difficult for us to to uh, to deliver. So, to the extent that it works for people that it works for, that's wonderful. Um, but it is not our intent to spend a lot of time and effort on it. Uh, I reporting bugs against QuickTime or Flash, uh, you know, will serve as interesting documentation for problems. They will not necessarily get fixed. So is that it? Uh, I'm not hearing anything else. I think that's it. Are we done? Don't break my mate, Vera Whirly. <laughs>